Welcome to BG Academy. Today will be about DOC, DPF and SCR regeneration. A modern diesel engine exhaust system is very complex. It consists of several units, it consists of sensors and injectors. It even has its own electronic control unit very often. This is a very interesting subject that we will take separately, I guess. But for today, just to have a better overview, please have a look at this diagram. The exhaust gases that leaves the combustion chamber goes straight to DOC in most cases. This is a very popular system these days. What is DOC? This is diesel oxidating catalyst. So it oxidizes and here in DOC unburned hydrocarbons are being burned out and carbon monoxide is turned to carbon dioxide. Next to the DOC in the same body is a DPF which is diesel particulate filter. It basically captures the soot and particles. Those particles are not very healthy to inhale, so this is why it has to be, they has to be captured. The particles consist of soot and also unburned fuel, but in the form that was unable to be burned out in the DOC, in the diesel oxidation catalyst. So the soot and particles are captured inside the DPF filter. Next, the exhaust gases leave the DOC DPF unit and go straight to SCR unit. The SCR abbreviation comes from selective catalyst reduction. Basically, the main function of the SCR is reducing the nitrogen oxides amount in the exhaust gases. To make it happen, of course, in many systems it is important to inject before the SCR add blue or urea. Also, it is important to measure the exhaust gases temperatures. It is also important to measure concentration of the nitrogen oxides. We will come back to this subject in the separate movies. This system requires a certain maintenance. For example, the DPF filter can be full after a couple of hours of the full load engine work. By the way, the capacity, the volume of the DPF filter is one and a half to two and a half times bigger than the engine capacity. And the filter is considered to be full when it exceeds 45% of its volume. And the system, the ECU, knows when the DPF is full because it measures the pressure before and after DPF filter. When the differential pressure is bigger, when the pressure builds up, so it means that the resistance, the flow resistance, is big because of the filter is full. So when the filter is full, it has to be emptied. And this happens when the exhaust gas's temperature exceeds 600 degrees Celsius degrees. So when the exhaust gases exceed 600 degrees, the accumulated inside the DPF filter soot and particles are being burned out and turned into the ash. This can happen when we go with our vehicle to the highway and when we ride a vehicle under nearly full load for a certain time. But let's just be honest, not many vehicles go frequently to the highways. Not many vehicles works under full load for a given amount of time to initiate such a process in the DPF filter. So if this process cannot be naturally initiated, it can be forced by the system. This is why an additional dose of fuel is being injected to the exhaust system. 
just to rise the exhaust gases temperature. But even then, we still have to continue ride under steady conditions. If we stop the vehicle while the process is being conducted, then the DPF filter will not be emptied. In such circumstances, the ECU will alarm us that the filter is full and is unable to, to, be, to be emptied by the, by the onboard system. Then at some point it will be necessary just to do something. One of the solutions is just to buy a new DPF filter, which is a very expensive solution and which we will have to do very often. Too often it makes no sense. So the other solution is to take the DOC DPF filter out of the vehicle and place it into the machine like this one. And this machine allows us to control fully the temperature inside so we can conduct the burning out process inside the DOC DPF catalyst. So we can preset the, the demanded temperature to fully burn out all accumulated inside the DPF filter suit and particles. This is of course much cheaper and faster solution than buying a new one. And this is why many workshops buy these machines these days from us, from Best Group. Our clients choose us because of the well-known high quality of our products and also because of the service we provide here in Europe. And what about the SCRs? Do they also need to be cleaned frequently? Not so frequently as the DPF filters, of course, but the SCRs also once in a while has to be placed in such a machine. Burning the add blue, burning the urea causes crystallization on the catalyst active material inside the, inside the body. So to remove that crystallization, we also can place the SCR catalyst inside this device to burn it out. If you want to find out more about this machine, please contact us.